हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस बाय विजय कुमार सेठी क्लास 11th केमिस्ट्री यूनिट 1 सम बेसिक कांसेप्ट्स ऑफ केमिस्ट्री एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मेजरमेंट ऑफ फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज द इंटरनेशनल सिस्टम ऑफ यूनिट्स दैट इज एसआई यूनिट्स बेसिक फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज एंड देयर यूनिट्स प्रीफिक्सेस यूज्ड इन द एसआई सिस्टम मास एंड वेट वॉल्यूम डेंसिटी एंड टेंपरेचर फर्स्ट कम द मेजरमेंट ऑफ फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज Examples of physical properties are color, order, melting point, boiling point, density, length, area, volume, etc. Many physical properties of matter such as length, area, volume, melting point, boiling point, density, etc. are quantitative in nature. Quantitative means when we express these properties, we have to mention some number. any quantitative observation or measurement is represented by a number followed by units in which it is measured for example length of a room can be represented as 6 meter where 6 is the number and the small m denotes meter the units in which the length is measured systems of measurement earlier two different systems of measurement that is english system and metric system were being used in different parts of the world metric system which originated in france in late 18th century was more convenient as it was based on the decimal system english system also called the imperial system of measurements used in united states the metric system is a system of measurement that uses the meter liter and the gram as base units of length that is distance capacity that is volume and weight or mass respectively that is meter is used for length liter is used for volume and gram is used for mass that is a met in metric system while yards feet inches pounds quarts and miles are all part of english system of measures system of measurements may also be classified as mks what stand for mks meter kilogram second this is the unit for length this is unit for mass and this is the unit for time cgs centimeter gram second fps foot pound second clear now again there the one confusion in the spelling of meter meter can be written as m e t r e or this may be written as m e t e r m e t r e is the british spelling of the unit of length and n e t e r is the american spelling of the same unit but we are generally we are following, following in india that is british language british english we are following that's why when we write the unit of length we will write it m e t r e then m e t e r this in british english is an instrument for measuring like we can say meter this is a meter scale that used to measure the length barometer thermometer in that the spelling is m e t e r international systems international system of units that is si it is the common standard system of measurement all over the world the international system of units that is international system of units this word came from the french and in french its meaning is le systeme international de units abbreviated as si was established by the 11th general conference on weights and measures that is cgpm and again this is a french word french sentence conference general des points at measures CGPM is an intergovernmental treaty organization created by a diplomatic treaty known as Meter Convention which was signed in Paris in 1875 the SI system has seven base units and these units related that is pertain to the seven fundamental scientific quantities 
other physical quantities such as speed, volume, density can be derived from these seven base quantities. Okay. Now just see, these are the some. These are the seven basic physical quantities and their units, like length that is small l. Its SI unit is meter. Symbol is small m. Mass, this is small m. Unit is kilogram, kg. This k is small letter. Time, t. Unit is second, s. Electric current, represented by I. SI unit is ampere. Symbol is capital E. Thermodynamic temperature, capital T. Unit is Kelvin, that is capital K. Amount of substance, represented as N, and its SI unit is MOLE. When you write in symbolic form, that is MOL. Luminous intensity, IV, its unit is candela, that is CD. Yes, friend? One thing you have to remember, it is these symbols of any unit cannot be represented in the plural form. Like if you write that is mass of any person is 60 kilograms. Okay. So when you write in symbolic form of unit of mass, then we only write kg. We will not write it is kilograms, doesn't mean that is you have to write kgs. Okay. This is wrong pattern to write the symbol. Symbol does not have any plural. Okay. This is written, written as a 60 kilogram. Prefix is used in the SI system. The SI system allows the use of prefixes to indicate the multiples or sub-multiples of a unit. It means if you want to represent any larger quantity or smaller quantity, then we use these prefixes. For example, 10 to the power minus 12. This is pico. Symbol is P. I think you are familiar with this unit, picometer. Generally, the atomic distance is measured in this picometer. Okay, that is 10 to the power minus 12 meter. In the same way, 10 to the power minus 9, nano, this is small n. 10 to the power minus 6, micro, this is the symbol for micro. 10 to the power minus 3, milli, this is small m. 10 to the power minus 2, centi, c. Again, you are familiar with this, centimeter. Okay, that is 10 to the power minus 2 meter. dc, 10 to the power minus 1, this is d. 10, this is a deca, hecto, 10 to the power 2, h, kilo, 10 to the power 3, okay, kilo, one base SI unit, that is SI unit of mass, already have one prefix, is kilogram, okay, 10 to the power 6, mega, capital M, 10 to the power 9, giga, capital G, 10 to the power 12, tera, capital T, I think in this tera, you are familiar, if you are familiar with the computer, what's terabyte or gigabyte, okay, some quantities which will be often used in 11th standard, these are mass and weight, volume, density and temperature. First come to the mass and weight. I think in the lower standard you are familiar with this. Mass of a substance is the amount of matter present in it, while weight is the force exerted by gravity on an object. The mass of a substance is constant, whereas its weight may vary from one place to another due to change in gravity. Mass of a substance can be determined accurately in the laboratory by using an analytical balance. These are the analytical balances. When you come to the chemistry lab, you can see these. Otherwise, when you go to the market to jeweler's shop, you can see such type of balance. With, help, with the help of these balances, you can determine up to the fourth place of decimal accurately. Volume. Volume is the amount of space occupied by a substance. And it has the unit of length cube. And SI unit of length is meter. That's why SI unit of volume is meter cube. But generally, volume is denoted in centimeter cube or decimeter cube. Okay. But common unit of volume is liter. Again, you have to know the relationship between meter cube, centimeter cube, decimeter cube, and liter. So you can come. That is, one liter is equal to one decimeter cube. Okay, or we can also say one liter is equal to 1000 milliliter and that one liter is also equal to 1000 centimeter cube. From this diagram, you can understand this. This, this part, this is a one centimeter. Okay, 
and from this to this this is 10 centimeter which is equal to 1 decimeter okay 10 centimeter and it is equal to 1 decimeter and if we make its cube then we'll get the 1 decimeter cube this is this is the cube of 1 decimeter and it is equal to 1 liter we can say 1 liter is equal to 1 decimeter cube and that is equal to 1000 milliliter and that is equal to 1000 centimeter cube okay student or we can also say 1 centimeter cube is equal to 1 milliliter in the laboratory volume of liquids or solution can be measured by the graduated cylinder burette pipette i think these two words are new for you burette and pipette a volumetric flask this is also new for you volumetric flask is used to prepare a known volume of a solution when you go to the chemistry lab you can see these apparatus this is burette this is pipette this is graduated cylinder and this is volumetric flask density two properties mass and volume are related as follows that is mass per unit volume or mass by volume that is equal to density that is density of a substance is its amount of mass per unit volume si unit of density is kilogram per meter cube but generally this is a large quantity or large unit that's why density is generally expressed in gram per centimeter cube density of a substance tells us about how closely its particles are pegged if density is more it means particles are more closely pegged temperature temperature is measure of hotness or coldness of an object or substance with reference to some standard value there are three common scale to measure temperature degree celsius in symbol form this is written as degree c degree fahrenheit and kelvin kelvin is the si unit Temperature is measured with a thermometer. Again, see the spelling of meter, M-E-T-E-R, thermometer. Generally, the thermometer with Celsius scale are calibrated from 0 degree Celsius to 100 degree. Where these two temperatures are the freezing point and boiling point of water respectively. It means freezing point of water in Celsius scale is 0 degree Celsius and boiling point of water is 100 degree Celsius. The Fahrenheit scale is represented between 32 degree to 212 degree. That is 32 degree Fahrenheit. This is freezing point of water and 212 degree Fahrenheit. This is the boiling point of water. Temperature below 0 degree Celsius. That is negative values are possible in Celsius scale. But in Kelvin scale, negative temperature is not possible. Zero Kelvin is the lowest possible temperature. Okay. And these are the two formulas which correlate different temperatures. If temperature given in the degree Celsius, we can convert into the degree Fahrenheit by using this formula. That is degree Fahrenheit is equal to 9 by 5 multiplied by temperature in degree Celsius plus 32. And I think this formula you are familiar. If any temperature given in the degree Celsius and if we add a 273.15, we get the temperature in Kelvin scale. Okay, student. Oh, from this diagram, you can see actually this is the freezing point of water. Now you can see relationship between different units different scales of temperature 0 degree celsius is equal to 32 degree fahrenheit and that is equal to 273.15 human body temperature in degree celsius is 37 degree celsius in fahrenheit is 98.6 degree fahrenheit and in kelvin this is 310 kelvin okay student thank you